The digital world is changing rapidly, and customers' expectations of technology are changing with it. IT has never been more important or more complex. So how do you adapt to the pace of digital transformation despite shrinking budgets? Business as usual is no longer enough. The answer is artificial intelligence. Mist, a Juniper company, is using AI to revolutionize IT. While other vendors are clinging to the past and bolting AI on top of legacy platforms, we're leading the way into the future with the industry's first AI-powered network. Combined with microservices cloud architecture, Mist delivers automation and insight that transforms enterprise networks. Whether it's retail, healthcare, higher education, or any other enterprise, technology powered by AI is bringing simplicity to IT administrators and network users every day. Save time and money with automated workflows, simple root cause analysis, an AI-driven virtual network assistant, and actionable insights. Maximize user experience with network services that are predictable, reliable, secure, and most importantly, tailored to individual needs. To meet modern demands, the new network requires AI-driven automation and insight. This is the AI-driven enterprise. This is MIST. Welcome to this fireside chat at IDC Live. My name is Chris Marshall. I head up IDC's analytics and artificial intelligence practice here in Asia. And my guest today at IDC Live is Zohar Cohen, who's sales director for Juniper Networks in Asia. Now, before we kick off this presentation, I really do want to invite everyone in the audience to send in your questions via the chat channel and the text box that you see on your screen. Remember that this, while this session is running, you can use this to enter in any thoughts or any questions that you may have with us, and we'll do our best to answer. Now, I suspect many members of our audience are very familiar with Juniper Networks on the back of its networking and security products that, frankly, globally have held sway for a number of years. But perhaps somewhat less familiar with Juniper's expertise in artificial intelligence. Uh, can you give us a little bit of background about Juniper's acquisition last year of MIST systems and how this has really jump-started Juniper's presence and capabilities in artificial intelligence moving forward? Sure, Chris, and thank you very much for having me here today. As mentioned, Juniper Networks have acquired MIST systems back in April of uh, 2019, last year, and it has been a tremendous journey to all of us. Um, about five years ago, the co-founders of uh, MIS System, Bob Friday and uh, Sujay Hajela, had a vision. And the vision was to deliver what we call today delivering the AI-driven enterprise. The, the reason that led to that uh, vision were about four uh, major trends in the industry. The first trend that we have seen is the shift from an uh, on-prem wireless LAN controller. It's a controller, it's a box that manages a lot of wireless access points within the organization. Uh, which has been designed 15 years ago. It is very expensive to manage, and it, is, it takes a long time to upgrade because the set of tools that have been used are pretty old. Uh, another shift in the industry that our co-founders have been uh, experiencing is the reliance of Wi-Fi technology as the main uh, way for uh, communicating with users uh, throughout the organizations. Laptops, iPhone, tablets, they are all using Wi-Fi as their medium of communication. The third uh, trend in the industry is the reliance of cloud. The use of cloud is, and cloud-based tools is now everywhere. Uh, Office 365, uh, Zoom uh, video conferencing, Salesforce.com, these are all cloud-based services that are being delivered as a service. Um, and the last innovation or trend that we have seen in, in the market is the use of Bluetooth technology for understanding where devices or people are. We are taking advantage of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cloud-based services to delivering what we call today the AI-driven enterprise. And this has been a, a massive shift within Juniper to embrace those technology. Now, I, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, particularly in the wake of COVID-19, uh, what was already there, a massive move to cloud, has been sort of accelerated by work from home and basically the digitalization of everything almost. Now. There's no doubt, it seems to me at least, that the network is is really mission critical to the success of the enterprise. But can you give us a few examples of how artificial intelligence 
and in particular Juniper's own AI capabilities, have really delivered real business value in this context in, in Asia. Sure, absolutely. As everybody understands, COVID-19 has challenged the world to adapt to new working environments rapidly and also to develop new processes to minimize risk while uh, maintaining productivity. Enterprise teams are working together to strategize on how to enable safe workplace reopening. New practices like social distancing are impacting everyday life. How do enterprise define their workforce's next steps as they look to return to the office? A popular measure for social gathering has been the practice of contact tracing. Uh, contact tracing trends impacting governments, academia, and enterprises. What does it mean for the organizations, for the enterprise, and what technologies are in play? Key questions for those enterprises are, how do I reduce potential risk for employees, for guests, and customers when doors open? How do I alert security team when gathering exceed corporate density policy? MIST and Juniper deliver a solution to help our customers and partners use location-based services to support business continuity as the workforce return to the office. Example could be a visitor to a hospital. As soon as the visitor reaches the hospital, he or she will be able to receive a message on the mobile app, on the mobile phone, alerting them that the appointment is in a specific location within the hospital. At the same time, a message would be sent to the doctor or nurse, customer or visitor has arrived. All of these services are being delivered based on location-based services, Bluetooth technology, and Wi-Fi technology. Interesting. I, I, I noticed you emphasize again and again these, these core technologies, Wi-Fi, you know, wireless with Bluetooth, and also IoT for that matter. Now, how do you see AI bringing these technologies together, and why, frankly, do you see them as so important to the enterprise? Absolutely. Uh, as mentioned, Chris, Miss Juniper is on a journey to building an AI-driven network. This requires rich data AI primitives, a data science toolbox, and a virtual network assistant engine that we have developed to connect all these together. Let me take you through some of those components. We start with the data. We are able to collect 100 machine state from every device, a laptop, an iPad, an iPhone, or Android device. When we collect those machine state telemetric data, we understand the data that we are collecting. We are able to look at decision trees to train the model and then deploy the model. The model uses mutual information, which is a part of AI, to highlight the most probable root cause or causes that could, happen, could cause the anomaly and could disrupt the user experience. We're using long short-term memory, LSTM. Again, it is used in deep learning to classify, to process, and make informed decisions based on the time series data. And lastly, we are using reinforcement learning to optimize wireless and wired network operations. Let me give you an example, a very simple example, but very powerful. A CCTV camera is connected to a switch. If that CCTV camera does not deliver the feed or speed, the data reliably, our AI engine understand there is an anomaly. Taking the data, looking at decision trees, looking at LSTM, we understand potentially what could be the root cause. Immediately, we can alert our help desk, ours or the customers, to make an informed decision immediately and solve the problem. Take it forward to where we are going and we are now able to automate the decision and the network will make decision based on the data that we have collected. This series explores some of the key tools within our rich data science toolbox that powers the AI-driven enterprise. The tools are built into the Juniper Mist AI-driven platform that delivers an amazing experience to your employees, customers, and guests. As you learn more about the AI technology used by Juniper Mist, you'll see that the journey to an AI-driven network requires rich data, AI primitives, a well-stocked data science toolbox, and a virtual assistant. All of these components are required as the network evolves to become self-driving. The data science tools vary in algorithm complexity and increasing intelligence from regression to deep learning. I have to say it's quite refreshing to hear that, you know, the guts of AI being used and deployed 
in enterprise technologies. <laughs> I mean, all too often, at least we see, you know, too much hype around these technologies, and frankly, the substance not matching the, the marketing. Um, and yet, for the most part, I kind of sense that enterprises, frankly, are struggling to deploy AI at scale in any realistic sort of useful sense. Um, you know, even areas where there's lots of data, like IT or network operations that you've talked about, you know, the take up of the technology has been somewhat limited. Why do you think that is? I think the reason for that is uh, AI is still, in my opinion, um, it's still a buzzword, similar to IoT, similar to cloud. Uh, today, cloud is a bit uh, more defined because people have been uh, used to the cloud-based services. You know, AI is a very uh, broad term. What we are doing is, as mentioned before, while building the AI-driven enterprise, we are taking the data and we're making informed decisions back on the based on the data. Again, let me take you to our co-founder, CTO, Bob Friday. His hobby is to make wine, and he said that in order for you to make good wine, you have to have, to have good grapes. Same with us. In order for us to understand the user experience, we have to understand the data. As I've mentioned before, we are able to collect a lot of data, understand what could be a reason for the user not to have a good experience, and we are taking action to automate as much as we can. Again, example with that would be um, we have integrated with one of our global customers and partners, ServiceNow. ServiceNow have deployed MIST across the board, and they have given us a task to reduce as much as possible the monthly tickets that are being raised with them. It took us about eight months, and then within eight months, we have managed to reduce from 100 tickets per month to two. An average on a wireless network requires skilled engineer to go back to the data or to go to site and try to analyze what could be a root cause of a problem of a mobile device that is moving all the time. In many cases, the mobile device is not there anymore. What we have done with the service now, we have reduced from 100 to two tickets per month, which translate to approximately 30% of cost saving of managing a network. This is significant, Chris. Now, back to Asia, of course, we are engaged and we are deploying with a lot of enterprise customers in Asia. I would urge our audience to, again, revisit what they have today within their premises, what technology they are using, and how we, MIST and Juniper, can help them delivering that vision of AI-driven enterprise. Interesting. I find the, the Juniper example at ServiceNow particularly uh, thought-provoking. Although I can't help but wonder, you know, in a COVID-19 situation, which, you know, inevitably we have to worry about, um, is it the right time to make investments in these sort of AI-based networks, infrastructures? I mean, do you feel that the pandemic is accelerated because, you know, a lot of the IT support operations people are distributed and they need support? Or has it decelerated uh, the use of some of these technologies? Chris, I don't have a crystal ball, as of course uh, a lot of our audience do not. But uh, what I can tell you is where we are heading uh, in terms of uh, Juniper Mist. Um, that pandemic is something that nobody have expected. And hopefully, we are all hoping that soon it will be over. However, you're asking me, is it the right time to use AI technology? Absolutely. And the reason is because our customers are telling us. We have deployed with uh, Fortune 10 you know, organizations, even Fortune 1, as mentioned before, uh, global operations where they need to understand people movement, understand occupancy within rooms. I'm in the office here in Sydney. Of course, right now it's almost empty, but the IT team, the facility management team, they need to understand movement of people, devices, uh, room-based occupancy, alert if there is a, a threshold that met. Um, all of these are cloud-based, and in fact, people working from home still are connected to enterprise uh, services. These, this is the right time to at least evaluate what is your strategy as an organization moving forward? How are you able to use technology, and specifically cloud-based technology, to help you delivering your strategy across the board. Absolutely. So, uh, you, you claim not to have a, a crystal ball, and yet I, I really want to press you a little bit on this. Um, how do you see some of the AI initiatives that have been developed within MIST systems sort of rolling out to the broader Juniper network story? I, I mean, I can't help but think about, you know, what are the implications, for example, of IoT, edge data, software-defined networks, all of these things promise, at least, to change the nature of how infrastructure is managed. 
Can you comment on that, please? As mentioned, our mission is to delivering the AI-driven enterprise. Um, us at MIST, we have started from the wireless uh, space. Wi-Fi deployment now are being automated via our platform. We are using the AI engine, the MIST AI engine, to make decisions and help uh, operationalize the network deployment. From here, as you know, Juniper have a breadth of portfolios, switching, routing, SD1, data center products, and, and of course, everything is integrated via secure the infrastructure. We are on a mission to leading the new era of IT that is using AI to save time and money, to deliver unprecedented scale, and to provide unparalleled user experience. This is what we call SD1, SD-LAN, or SD Enterprise. Our mission is to deliver these software-defined toolkits for the enterprise. Uh, th that mission sounds like it's one that should resonate with our audience. But if you had to sort of summarize in a couple of points, what do you think the key takeaways really of this session should be for our audience? What are the most important things they should take home with them or to the office with them whenever we get around to going to the office? Enterprises are constantly looking at either saving money or uh, reducing cost, or, or both. It's the same. What we uh, would like to uh, recommend to our customers and partners is to revisit their business plans moving forward, to consider taking advantage of the things that we have just discussed today, such as Bluetooth, Bluetooth the, and the increased use of Bluetooth and the use cases around BLE are here. Put some plans in place to embrace Bluetooth as a main technology for locating people or assets. The other uh, trend is the application of AIs, as mentioned today, will enable organizations to innovate, to integrate new set of tools and services, to automate a lot of their processes, and to understand the data that they are collecting from the network. And as they are uh, revisiting their plans moving forward, I believe that Juniper Mist is the right platform for them to realize their vision. I appreciate that. But I, I'm afraid our time is up. And yep. um, you know, I'd just like to say thank you to my guest, Zohar Kern from Juniper Networks. It's been a real pleasure talking with you today. And of course, a very big thank you to our audience. Um, we do hope that you found this very useful. Now, if you have any questions or would like more information about Juniper Networks or MIST or AI-defined networks and technologies, please feel free to visit the Juniper virtual booth at the ex exhibition hall. Um, you should try to have a chat with some of the, uh, the Juniper representatives at the booth who will be very ready and very eager to help you and assist with any questions that you may have as you explore their booth. Thank you very much for your time.